Hello and welcome to LSJ News. I'm Holly Townsend. Our team of student journalists have been working remotely to produce content for the bulletin today. Here are your stories from our reporters on LSJ News. Lincoln Canoe Club and Rowing Centre have removed over 20 sacks of plastic pollution from surrounding Lincoln waterways. The club organised the cleanup on the Brayford, Fosdyke and River Witham as part of their Clear Access to Clear Waters campaign led by Chantelle Grundy. Over 40 members joined the cleanup to take litter from the water. Bags of plastic pollution were removed, but the club also had rare finds, such as a submerged mobility scooter. Obviously, as paddlers, we're on the water, so we all see the impact of plastic pollution on the wildlife. Um, um, but then I remember when I got back from, from my clean with my group, I was one of the last um, groups back, and we could see all the sacks of plastic pollution that had been gathered, and I couldn't believe how much there actually was. COVID-19 has not only impacted people, but has hugely affected the wildlife. Disposable masks are not being thrown away correctly and are making their way into the ocean, where many species confuse them for their prey. The RSPCA has received over 21,000 reports of animals being injured by disposable masks and other plastics. They have now introduced the Snips the Straps campaign, hoping to reduce the choking and entanglement of many sea animals. The Trussell Trust, based at Alive Church, is one of the many food banks in Lincolnshire to help provide struggling families with half-term food parcels with help from the local co-op stores. Volunteers deliver parcels to people's doorsteps with faster arrival if they complete an on-the-spot referral at one of the distribution centres like Alive Church. The food bank works using a voucher referral system. Families with one child get a £5 voucher and families with two or more children can get two vouchers. Brown's Restaurant and Pie Shop in Lincoln have joined Marcus Rashford's campaign to help provide free meals for children. Throughout half term, any child who is accompanied by an adult and is aged 12 or under can eat at the shop for free as people and businesses fight to prevent child food poverty. The news comes after the government recently decided against renewing free school meals for children in England over half term and Christmas. COVID-19 is affecting people working in Lincoln, with some workers starting to become irritated with new conditions due to the current pandemic. With new cases in Lincolnshire rising to a record 367, the risk of working is increasing, leaving some workers worried. One worker who wished to remain anonymous told LSJ News that they were required to go into work despite coming into contact with someone who had tested positive. Everyone's still adjusting and still doing things wrong. Um... Like, I'm, I'm still concerned going into work that I could get it because it doesn't feel as safe. The public don't always follow the rules as well. Like, the only thing we've got stopping us is a big screen and a visor. As more and more people are getting tighter on money due to coronavirus, they've started to shop locally. Rock Retro, an independent clothes store in Lincoln, has seen a massive increase in sales since the pandemic broke out and since they expanded into a second unit next door. They took over from number 17, which was Gotham Games, which is a retro game store. I think coronavirus kind of pushed him in the end to um, to move so to uh, leave the shop. So I think coronavirus benefited us in that way. The effects of COVID-19 over the last six months has seen an enormous decline in tourism throughout the UK as more people are staying at home. Councils across Lincolnshire have decided to launch the Rediscover Lincolnshire campaign, which aims to boost tourism in the local area. This movement aims to reintroduce locals and visitors to Lincolnshire's oldest and newest attractions along the coastline, through the countryside and in its cities. The Rediscover Lincolnshire campaign is basically part of Lincolnshire's um, economic recovery, really, as a result of COVID-19. So, as everyone knows, you know, tourism and hospitality and all of those things have been hit quite hard. And also, of course, general business has so this campaign really was just devised to encourage people to spend a little more time within their own county. The IBCC will receive part of the government's Culture Recovery Fund. More than £426,000 has been given to them to help secure their future after only being open for two years. Whilst the grant has been vital in keeping them open, their issue now is with many people not being able to come due to the new tiered lockdowns. 28% of our visitors normally are international. Of course, we're not getting those. Um, but obviously, around us, you know, anyone from the north basically is in 
you know, tier one, uh, two and three, and they're not travelling. A local charity and local water company have come together to run a project aiming to reduce water waste. The Save Money Save Water project, launched by the YMCA and Anglian Water, is currently in the early stages, but is aiming to have a lasting impact in the city. The project is focused on Lincoln solely, which is one of the driest areas of the country. Water wanting to, to reach out. We're an organisation that do quite a lot of educational messages around energy as well. So they saw us as a, an obvious partner. The Conservation Office of the Lincolnshire Wildlife Trust is advocating for ecological change in the county. Following scientific reports that wildflower meadows have been in decline, the Trust and its sister organisations are lobbying local and national government to better manage our green spaces and to encourage people to garden. They hope to bring environmental concerns into the mainstream as 97% of our wildflower meadows have disappeared since World War II. There's a, there's a way in which you can make small changes to how you manage your green space uh, and that can, that can deliver benefits for wildlife too. So yes, you can, you can do that and that's, that's something everyone can do on their patch and as well, you can think globally. A Lincolnshire photographer is to be published in a progressive new photo book about our mistreatment of animals across the world in the 21st century. Hidden, Animals in the Apothecine, covers slaughtering animals for food to slaving for entertainment. Lincoln resident Amy Jones, who is co-founder of the Moving Animals Group, travelled the world capturing the heartbreaking exploitation and suffering of animals on a global scale, including the UK. I just think that if you, the people who, who see these photos, that they can just take a moment to witness the suffering and sort of think, actually, wait a minute, is there another way? Can we stop using the animals in this way? I think that would be the most important, incredible thing that could come from this book, really. Lincoln City is full of art galleries, but with the current pandemic, many are struggling to bring visitors in. Some galleries have created an online booking system to limit the numbers of visitors allowed. However, this has caused an issue as many of the independent paid galleries rely on the income from visitors to stay open. With the UK split into tiers of restrictions, football fans across the country are still unable to return to stadiums to support their local teams. Lincoln City Football Club, who are part of the English Football League, are just one of the many teams who have been affected. Fans of the Lincoln team are struggling not being able to attend matches and return to a leisure activity they once attended at any chance they got. I don't, I, what I don't understand is how someone like myself is unable to attend the, the one thing I really do love, but people can go and integrate in restaurants and cinemas and that surrounded by loads of people. That... Tabletopping Lincoln City face a tough trip to Crew Alexandra this evening. The Imps will be keen to retain their place at the top of League One as they visit Gresty Road for the second time this season. Goals from Tom Hopper and Lewis Monsmer were enough to take home a victory in September. However, the railway men come into this one off the back of a very good victory away at Doncaster on Saturday. I just think they're a good side. I think they're a side that obviously kept the majority of the players from last season's promotion. Obviously, we, we, you know, we were fortunate to be able to get James from them. Um, but yeah, the, the, they proved last season in League Two what good football when team they are. That's all from the team here at LSJ News. Keep up to date on our website and on our social media feeds. Bye for now.